thinking about getting a scorpion on my cheek. Yeah, I've always been uh, kind of allied with scorpions in my spiritual trip. Yeah. But then I met a horn toad when I was out last time, and uh, me and him talked for a long time. I met him out in, and he got on me for uh, 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 letting everybody see his position. Okay? And I told him, I said, well, I'll hide you. He said, you don't have the brain to hide me, stupid. And I asked him why he had all that armor on there. He did. He said, so the scorpion can't get to me. He said, he's, got, he's like a tank out there with the bugs and lizards. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool little dude. Yeah, I, I uh, last time, I've been out uh, uh, four times in the last 63 years, uh, the last 75 years, actually. Because I figured when I got out of my mother, I was a one full life. Every time I get out, it's one, uh, one lifetime. I've been out uh, four times. 49, I got out. 64, I got out. 57, I got out. 67, I got out. Every time I got out, it was a whole different world. I said, yeah. The atmosphere's dying. There's going to be no air there. So you can't sell the water. How are you going to buy and sell the water? You're taking the water away from life. I heard that China's buying up a lot of American water. I think uh, we need some biology put it in jars and uh, work it out from the mounds and the graves. Uh, the guy's talking about Jesus coming. I said, well, the only way he could come is through the reservation. Said, uh, you know, you can't, you can't crucify a, a people and then come back and say that uh, you're the guy that was crucified. You know, you, got, you know, if you're gonna let Jesus up, you gotta let him up where you laid him down. The guy was right when he said the great father. The great father's not gonna let nothing be out of line. It's gonna be right with the celestial grandfather. We call it grandfather. And I can see that uh, an ax cutting down a tree would be high tech. Making that axe into metal took a lot of heat. That heat melted a big hunk of ice. And that hunk of ice is taking away your life on Earth. So how in the hell are we going to get the climate back? I was just raised up at the bottom and I'm looking at it. And I always, I've always done everything I could do, but uh, being a coward and not being associated with uh, anybody else. I never had nobody to lean on, so I just kind of leaned on the people that had been leaned on. And I'm like, uh, I don't know nothing. That's why I, I learned a little something, because I admitted to myself that I wasn't what uh, what people thought they were. You know? I'd rather be a bug anyway, but in some ways, in some ways. They're killing the mice over there now. And I said, why you kill those little guys? They're not bothering anybody, man. They're just little life forms trying to catch a, catch a dream, you know. And, uh, they're smart, so I don't want uh, I think they're smarter than the damn.